the Adams family. Modernists are truly exciting. Darling. Such sweep. Such power. Such majesty. You have a keen eye. Oh, the left one. What are you going to call it? Spring song. Perfect. Thank you, darling. Now for the finishing touch. <laughs> You have such a delicate touch. I just love to hear the sound of children at play. They're really having a go at it today. <laughs> Those educational toys are marvelous. They keep the children off the streets. Oh, hey, dear. Wednesday's celebrating the loss of her front tooth. Oh, she looks much prettier without it. I I've had it! Morticia Gomez, this child has got to be what? We do not go around whacking people in this house. Certainly not without good reason. I have a very good reason. She's been shooting off all of my dynamite caps. <laughs> Darling, you have dynamite caps of your own. But they're not any fun. They just go poop. <laughs> At your age, a little poop ought to be enough. Darling, I'm afraid you're going to have to be punished. Good! I'll put it over my knee. No, 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 no. I prefer a punishment that will leave an impression on her mind. Excellent thinking, my dear. For the next two weeks, you are forbidden, absolutely forbidden, to play with your pet spider. Not play with Homer? It may seem harsh, Wednesday, but you'll be a better person for it. You may go now. Hmm. Softies! <laughs> you think it'll leave a scar? Oh, nonsense. In a few days, she'll be as bright and chipper as a little bat. <laughs> You're really running away from home? Yep. Got any money? Twelve cents. Good. I thought you were broke. <laughs> hey, I know a place you can run away to for nothing. Where? My room. You can hide there and just pretend you've run away from home. <laughs> then I can run away and still be around to see them suffer. <laughs> Let's go. Wait. You can't run away without leaving a note. Oh, what'll I say? I'll think of something. <laughs> the question is, where to hang it? It would just light up the entire attic. <laughs> Darling, why didn't I think of that? Mother! Father! Hmm? Once they flew on the coop. Talk sense, boy. Just run away from home. Really? A very adventurous spirit. I didn't run away from home until I was eight. That's ridiculous. She even left a note. I helped her write it. Dear mother and father, I hate you. Love, Wednesday. <laughs> P.S. Don't bother looking for me because I'm not anywhere. <laughs> Goodbye, W. Well, why would the child leave a nice homey place like this? You're right. She's probably hiding somewhere. Oh, no, she's not hiding anywhere. We'll organize a search party. Comb the entire house. Mother, hmm? aren't you going to drag the rivers? Tomorrow. Wednesday's a good swimmer. <laughs> well, no, it was right. She doesn't seem to be anywhere. Unless she's here in Pugsley's room. Oh, no, she's not in here. <laughs> <laughs> you knew she was running away. Why didn't you stop her? You know women, once they've made up their minds. <laughs> oh, my little girl, she's out there in the world all alone. Don't worry, Carita Mia, she'll be all right. She comes of sound stock. But, darling, even an Adams can be led into temptation. Supposing she wanders on a playground, tries to teeter-totter. <laughs> she may even run away and join the brownies. <laughs> Gomez, we've got to call the... P-O-L-I-C-E. You mean the fuzz? What is the fuzz? The bulls. <laughs> Thought you had him there, didn't you? <laughs> Good 
Please, Mrs. Tuttle, don't scream at me, will you please? We, we brought the kid home. It's up to you to keep him there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll put out another dragnet, but I'm warning you, no more helicopters. Now, you're costing the city a fortune. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Sergeant Haley, missing persons. Well, I have one. <laughs> Missing person, of course. Look, ladies, this is no time for jokes, huh? Now, tell me who's missing and give me your address, please. My name is Mrs. Adams, and I want you to find my little girl Wednesday. Look, I'll find her Tuesday if I can, but don't give me no deadlines, will you, please? <laughs> Wednesday's her name. Oh, and I suppose you're gonna tell me her, her middle name is Thursday, huh? Friday. <laughs> now, come on, lady. Now, this is a place of business. <laughs> are, you, are you serious? Okay, okay. Just tell me where you live and I'll come right out there. Uh-huh. Right next to a... Cemetery? Yes, we have a lovely view of it. <laughs> <laughs> What news, Tish? The police are on their way over. <gasps> Good heavens. The neighbors will think we've committed some crime. It does make you feel like a fraud. <laughs> Dr. Fester, the police are on their way over. They'll never take me alive. Wait, Fester. They're coming over because of Wednesday. Oh, that. I solved the Wednesday caper. You mean you found her? Found her? She was never lost. She's hiding out up in Pugsley's room. I got suspicious when I saw him sneaking food up to her. I don't believe it. Would you believe your own eyes? It depends. <laughs> Uncle Fester, our children do not do sneaky things. Unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> She's upstairs, all right. That's what you get for sparing a paddle. Uncle Fester, please. My father knew how to raise children. He used to paddle on me even when I was good. And if my mother interfered, he'd use it on her. <laughs> Papa was strict. But fair. <laughs> and you had to respect him. If you didn't, what? <laughs> Even now, when I toss and turn in bed, I think of him. That's very touching, Uncle Fester. But we have no time for maudlin sentiment. Are you sure Wednesday's still upstairs? Just follow old Sherlock. You know, I wouldn't mind joining the police if it wasn't for those silly uniforms they wear. <laughs> Is she there? And as happy as a lark. <laughs> that tricky little minx. I wonder which side of the family she got that from. Both sides. I was when I left home this morning. <laughs> okay, lady, what, uh, what about your kid? Oh, she's fine. Is that why you dragged me all the way out of here? Now, that would be silly, wouldn't it? Well, where was she? Right here. <laughs> right here. Clever, wasn't it? Running away from home with all the comforts of home. Now, look. If this is some kind of a My gag... My dear man, our child has been safe at home all the time. Aren't you delighted? Oh, I'm tickled. After all, what else have I got to do? There are 683 missing persons on my file, four of which have been found. My phone rings 18 hours a day, three of them in my head. Half the kids in this town are lost, the other half should be. I'm at the peak of a migraine headache. I haven't had my lunch, and you clowns drag me all the way out here and, and tell me your kid is fine. Delighted. Lady, I'm, I'm beside myself with joy. <laughs> Emotional, wasn't he? The civil servants of today. The least little thing, and they just fly apart. <laughs> well, what's our next move? We're going up and have a little talk with that girl. Gomez, the time has passed for talking. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fine, I'll get my old fraternity paddle. <laughs> no, I have a much better way. Psychology. Oh, that's no fun. Uh, Professor, this is not a fun matter. That child has got to be taught to play with her own explosives. <laughs> Wednesday's really gone. Someday, when she's slaving away in a tuna cannery, she may remember the life of ease she had in this lovely home. Ragged, penniless, her little fingers bleeding from the tuna cans, she may return and say she's sorry. And when that happens, we'll take her back. If we have room. If they have room. Come, my dear. Let's go down and remove her pictures from the family album. They don't love me. Oh, they're just using psychology. What's that? I don't know, but that's what they're using on you. Guess they think that you don't have the nerve to leave home. Well, I'll show them. <laughs> And I'm taking Homer with me. <laughs> oh, Gomez, I feel as though I were dancing with Nijinsky. I with Pavlova. <laughs> Must be the solving of the Wednesday crisis. Oh, that's one situation you handled admirably. There's a little girl who's home to stay. Wednesday, write me as soon as you get to the tuna cannery. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Mrs. Tuttle, we haven't found your boy yet. Do you realize this is the seventh time he's run away from home? No, I'm not suggesting you keep him locked up in a broom closet. But has it ever occurred to you that maybe the reason he's running away from home is on account of you? Mrs. Tuttle? Mrs. Tuttle? There you are, sweetheart. Go right over and see the nice sergeant, right there. Well, here's another one. Oh, that's all I need. Another missing kid. I'm not missing. I'm on my way to the tuna cannery. <laughs> Look, honey, I've had a very rough day. Now, what's your name? <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those, huh? Would uh, the nice young lady like a nice, big strawberry ice cream cone? No, sir. Well, what would you like? A dead fly. <laughs> fly? Where my spider? He's hungry. Yeah, I, I believe you. I believe you. Look, take her over to the social worker, will you? What social worker? Oh, well, now, don't worry, honey. She's, she's a nice, sweet old lady who'll get you some apple pie, and she'll play beanbag with you, and she'll read you stories about Goldilocks and Rumpelstiltskin. You mean fairy tales? Yeah. Where they slay dragons? Yeah, and old witches. Oh, no, please, I'll talk. My name is Wednesday Adams. <laughs> There's something fishy going on here. Yes, sir. What's that number again? Uh, 
Cemetery 13. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Candle flame. Gomez, that was so masterful. Now it's your turn. Come to me. Caramba! Darling, let me up. It's probably my poetry club. Tell them you've resigned. Gomez, darling, let me up. <laughs> Hello? Uh, hello, Mrs. Adams. Uh, this is Sergeant Haley. Oh, yes. It's that nice missing persons fellow. Uh, Mrs. Adams, it's a kind of a policy of ours to sort of check back at certain trouble spots. Uh, your little girl's still home? Why, yes, she is. How sweet of you to ask. He's concerned about Wednesday. Isn't that nice? And Mrs. Adams, uh, just for the record, would you mind describing her, please? Not at all. She has the most adorable figure. Mm-hmm. And she's about, say, uh, uh, about three foot six, would you say? Yes. And the most soulful eyes. Don't forget her striking complexion. Oh, yes. And she has the loveliest pallor. <laughs> and, uh, by any chance, does she have, uh, long braids? Why, yes. How clever you detectives are. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sure she's still home? Snug as a baby bat in her little cave. Uh-huh. Well, thank you very much, Mrs. Adams. That tells us everything we want to know. Thank you. It's a great joy to know you're watching over a sergeant. Thank you very much. Keep your eye on that kid. I'm going over there and check this thing out. Yes, sir. Where, where, where are you going? I'm tired of running away. I think I'll go home. But no, no, sweetheart, no. You're going to stay right here until somebody responsible comes for you. Wendy! Uncle Fester! Oh, I looked all over town for you. Pugsley told me you ran away. Are you related to this kid? He's my uncle. Well, can't you see the family resemblance? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, no, 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 wait, 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 wait just a minute. I gotta have time to think. <laughs> He does it, my dear. <laughs> a prowler. Good work, Lurch. Let's have a look at the scoundrel. All right, put me down. <laughs> Sergeant Haley, we weren't expecting you. But it's so nice of you to come. Will you put me down, you big ox? Lurch, put the sergeant in the good chair. must forgive dear Lurch. Only doing his duty. So much riffraff around these days, you know. Yes, you can say that again, and most of that riffraff is parents. I'm sure you meet some terrible families. Oh, do I? You'd be surprised some of the, some of the weirdos I meet in this business. Really? Yes, really. Right now, at this very minute, I've got a little runaway down at the station. A pathetic little thing with, with long braids. And you think her parents even know she's gone? Frightful. Parents like that should be horsewhipped. You're so right. Wait a minute, Sergeant. Did you say a little girl with long braids? Yes, she has long braids and a little pet spider. And by a strange coincidence, she happens to be named Wednesday. Morticia, do you realize what's happened? Of course I do. The Sergeant's suffering from hallucinations. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna have some explanations, too, before I leave. Now, lady, what about your runaway kid? Poor sergeant. His work has taken a heavy toll. Reminds me of old Bagby, my Egyptian camel master. 
One moment as sane as you or I. The next moment, completely a muck running naked into the Nile. <laughs> Look, now don't try to double talk me. I'm taking the two of you down to police headquarters. Thank you very much, Sergeant, but we have a previous engagement. <laughs> don't you understand, lady? Your kid scrammed. Now, why would the child want to leave this lovely home? Why? Because she's probably sick and tired of living in this madhouse. Look at that. You right. All right, you. Easy on the rough stuff. George, you must forgive the sergeant. I'm afraid he's walked one beat too many. <laughs> now look, you people. Whoever you are, come out from under there, so help me, I'll let you have it. Come, old chap. Give Daddy the gun. What's that? Our son, Pugsley. He's never happier than when he's shooting off his dynamite caps. And Wednesday's happy with her headless dolls. Happy? Lady, don't you understand? Your kids run away. Oh, those hallucinations again. Really, old chap, you should see a psychiatrist. I need a head shrinker. Typical case, the more they need help, the harder they fight it. Now look, here. If, if that kid's in her room, I'll turn in my badge, all right? Well, now that won't be necessary. But if it'll make you feel any better, I'll go up and get her. Sergeant, you're right. Wednesday isn't in her room. Well, really? <laughs> She's outside on the porch, playing with her Uncle Fester. Oh, outside, playing with her Uncle... Fester? <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, out there somewhere. Sergeant Haley, is there anything we can do for you? Yes. You can call the police station and tell them you want to report a missing person. <laughs> Emotional, isn't it? I told you. <laughs> Tish, Consolidated Plus just hit 100. Really? What did you pay for it, dear? 209. <laughs> but these little fluctuations mean nothing. <laughs> Uncle Fester? Little Wednesday. That was quite a poop. <laughs> well, she's been such a good child lately. I thought I'd buy her a few fresh dynamite caps. Just a few. Of course, you can't spoil them. Ah, <laughs> oh, the mail's in. <laughs> Thank you, Fing. Well, it's from Sergeant Haley. Oh, what's the poor devil have to say? Oh, he says he's fully recovered, and he's starting all over again as a junior detective in Wabash, Indiana. He needs more training. <laughs> well, there's a P.S. He wants us to send him his badge. Collect. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to give it to him. Mm -hmm. Now, which one was Sergeant Haley's? <laughs>